Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So today I'd like to demonstrate how Samsung appears to be, in my opinion, astroturfing Reddit AMAs to make it seem like there is more interest without complaint in their products than what actually exists in real life. So when you take a look over here, you'll see that there was an AMA that was done yesterday. It said, hi, we're from Samsung and Qualcomm. We'll be answering your questions at 1 p.m. Ask us anything. So I decided to post my question. Are there any plans to develop a phone that fits in the average person's hand again, similar to the S10e? Are are there any plans to develop a phone with a micro SD card slot, headphone jack, and perhaps a removable battery? Does Samsung ever plan to make schematics available or support right to repair into the future? There are no curse words here. There are no insults here. It's, again, it's it's not an easy to answer question, but it's also not something that's being asked in a provocative way. Can I be honest? I wasn't expecting to get an answer to this question, but what I wasn't expecting is for it to actually get deleted. So if you look at it here, logged in as me, the question is here. If you look at it in an incognito window, I disappear like Nikolai Yezhov in the 1930s. The issue with this is that it is standard for the person who started the AMA to decide, you know what, I'm not going to answer these questions. But even if you're not going to answer certain questions, there would at least be a record that this was one of the most upvoted questions in the thread and that it didn't get answered. If you didn't answer the questions that were the most downvoted, it's understandable. But if you didn't answer the questions that were the most upvoted, it tends to be frowned upon. It's just part of the AMA culture on Reddit. You can see what were the most upvoted questions, the most downvoted questions, and people respond to the questions that they want to, and that is the AMA. So the weird thing here is that it goes far beyond just my comment not being there. When you actually take a look at the entire thread, you'll see that it has 396 comments at the moment, yet when you scroll through, that there can't be more than 20 or 25 comments in this list. That's over 93% of the comments that are being shadow banned from what is supposed to be an AMA thread. Now, somebody actually came across this this morning, and I'd like to highlight it here. This comes from Robonaya. Yeah, there are some really weird things going on with you slash Samsung Mobile US. Check out the subs there, mods on, Samsung Unpacked, and Exposure on Hulu. Then there is this user who is posting a bunch of random spam and crap on their own profile. See Exhibit A. It seems like they are related to the Samsung account. It is linked to the following post, which has zero comments, 92 up upvotes and various gilded awards on a user profile botting upvotes much so it's pointing to this over here your guide to s tier gift giving what is this well obviously it's a marketing ploy using reddit to serve as a guide to reaching holy grail gift giving status let's talk gift giving it's gift giving season people and we're here to tell you why samsung galaxy products make great gifts for people you love and you see that this obvious advertisement has 91 upvotes over here and numerous gilded awards, which is just fundamentally not how the Reddit system tends to work when you're looking at what's real and what is astroturfing. But wait, it gets weirder. If you look over here, it says WTF. I clicked on their account and went to their submitted posts. They're making posts on their own account with titles that sound like they are trying to reply to the thread that they link. Each one of these posts that links to another thread, they're not comments. Yes, and you can even pre-order it right now. Can't go wrong with either, but we're all about to say Galaxy S23 Ultra right now. Galaxy S23 Ultra, dilemma solved. We hope you're waiting. What a silly question. Galaxy S23 Ultra for sure. And again, these are posts that link to another thread. They're not comments. This is not how Reddit is supposed to be used. And I just want to draw a line in the sand here because a lot of people really dislike marketing and advertising. I don't have a problem with marketing and advertising. I market and advertise my products and services on YouTube and across the internet on a regular basis. What I have a problem with is deceptive advertising, making it seem like there is more interest in your products and services than there actually is, making it seem like there is different types of user engagement than there actually is. When I release a video and my border pair video has a mistake, you will see me get roasted in the comments for it. When I release a border pair video with done poorly, you'll see a 20 or 30% dislike rate on that particular video. And I don't go out of my way to have farms of people upvote those videos or gild them or anything like that to make it seem like there is more interest in my content, in my company, in myself than there actually is. What you are seeing is the unadulterated truth, whether it's good, whether it's bad, that's up to the audience to decide. And that's the way that Reddit used to be. It wasn't this ridiculous AstroTurf BS that you're seeing more and more of as companies try to game the system to get better Google rankings for their shit products that they have not innovated on in a very long period of time. It says, I can only wager that they are trying to game Google search algorithm and trend of people searching for Reddit on Google probably avoiding detection by spamming their user profiles instead of the comment feeds. Another really strange oddity is how both r slash Samsung Unpacked and r slash Exposure on Hulu have a Reddit admin Snoopy Doo on the moderator list. Am I to assume that Reddit is in its official capacity is on board with this behavior? It seems Lewis has undug a vote manipulation spam campaign. And again, when he talks about trying to manipulate Google, this is not exactly a difficult thing to do because Google at the end of the day ain't that smart. This, I mean, if I'm just talking about my own business, I moved my business to Austin, Texas two months ago. And when you search for MacBook repair, in New York City. 
I'm not kidding. I show up number three on Google for MacBook repair in New York City, but I show up number six on Google for MacBook repair in Austin, the place that my store is actually located. At the end of the day, here's the big secret. Google ain't that smart. It's pretty easy for people to manipulate Google. There was a business back where I used to work in New York City that literally named themselves MacBook Repair in New York City. And in spite of the fact that they weren't as well rated and they weren't as well known and they had only been in business for a short period of time, they became the number one search results on Google simply because they named their business a search term. It's not that hard to manipulate Google and it looks like that's part of what Samsung is trying to do here. And when you look at the quality of some of these posts, it's just like, oh my God. Somebody asked, does it have expandable storage? Great question, user Xylops. Over the past several years, we saw the use of expandable memory feature decline while also seeing the growth of cloud storage options. We've increased the base storage options in our devices, for example, 256 gigabytes in the S23 slash Ultra, while including seamless storage connections through our partners at Microsoft and Google. By the way, have we mentioned that if you pre-order the Ultra on Samsung.com, you have the option for free storage upgrade? Oh my God, this is so cringy. This is absolutely disgusting. I mean, just, you, you can't give a yes or a no answer to a question. You just have to make it the most ridiculous corporate speak as humanly possible. I think the question really does need to be asked, is this direction that we want Reddit to go in? AMAs are really cool. It's an opportunity for people that typically don't get to speak publicly without the help of their public relations department writing their responses for them in corporate speak to actually engage with real users based on the questions that the users democratically vote on as the most popular questions for them to answer. And it's a really cool opportunity for there to be a genuine connection where there otherwise wasn't a connection. And to have that perverted into this absolute and utter garbage where they're saying, by the way, you can get a free upgrade. Oh, it's just gross. Is that the direction that we want Reddit to go in? And if not, what are we going to do about it? One of the best posts in this thread that's pointing out this obvious astroturfing campaign is, Hi, I'm the Link Sites author. The salient point here may not be the amount of moderation, but rather that the system shows you your removed comments as if they're not removed. Most of these common authors will never discover the removal. To just see how this works on Reddit, try commenting in r slash can't say anything. Your comments will be removed. You won't be told, and it will still appear to you as if it is not removed. My take is that plain old transparent moderation, where you are told about removals, is fine. Secret or shadow moderation, where the comments removal is kept hidden from its author, is not. This practice is common across major social media platforms. For example, your Facebook wall will let you hide comments on other people's comments, and it is the same effect. From the RevEdit homepage, you can also look up your account's own history or look up random account via r slash all slash x. In my test, over 50% of active accounts have removed comments in their recent history that they were likely not told about, and Samsung is participating in this. Personally, in my opinion, I don't think that you would have to run such sort of deceptive marketing campaigns to try to drum up, pretend that this fake interest in your product that doesn't actually exist to game a search engine if you were actually innovating or doing what people wanted. One of the things I remember talking talking about on this channel a long time ago is that Samsung used to create commercials mocking Apple for removing the headphone jack and then they themselves remove the headphone jack. Samsung is going out of their way to try and destroy the entire independent repair industry by using a patent on the order of the pixels and the shape of the pixels in an AMOLED display. And maybe, just maybe, Samsung wouldn't have to go through these lengths to pretend that there is a more positive impression of the company and their products than there actually is if they weren't moving features and functionality on a regular basis. If they weren't making fun of other companies for moving the headphone jack before they do the same thing. If they didn't remove the micro SD card slot but then say you can use cloud storage. If they made a device with a user removable battery. If they weren't trying to destroy the entire independent repair industry. If they didn't have software fuses in the device that prevented you from being able to root it, unlock it, or install the operating system of your choice. Maybe if they treated their customers like they appreciated them instead of like pieces of shit, this would not be necessary. Maybe, just maybe, you wouldn't have to delete 93% of the comments in your own AMA and hide the fact that that was done from the users, buy fake gilded posts, have fake bot upvoted bullshit so that your products would rank higher artificially. But what do I know? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. The Streisand effect. It exists, Samsung. It exists. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.